Open Magic Info Author and click on the New Content button or click File, then New Contents to open a new content window. Give your contents a name and select the type of player the content will be published to. By default, the resolution is set to high definition, which is fine for most displays less than five years old. Leaving the lock aspect ratio setting will ensure correct sizing of images, etc. Click Create to continue. The creation process is separated into four distinct areas, allowing you to have a great deal of control over how the content looks and acts. They are as follows. The file browser is used to get your content to create your playlists. The properties area allows you to affect any selected content on the canvas to change its behavior. The canvas is the main workspace where you would build your content ready for publication. The timeline page line area allows you to control how your content interacts with each other as well as creating multiple pages of content. To create new content, you first need to browse for content using the file browser. Click the Files tab and navigate through your directory structure to find suitable content. Alternatively, you can select the Elements tab to find pre-designed interactive content to use. More elements can be found using the drop-down menu. Finally, you can use Template Background from the Templates tab Browse to the demo directory and then drag and drop the first image onto the canvas. You can then drag the corners of the image to make it fit the canvas. Notice that the page line window has a thumbnail showing content now. Click on the plus symbol below the page line window to insert another page. Drag and drop the second image onto the new page and repeat the process with a third image. Click on the Timeline tab to change from Page Line View and change the duration to 10 seconds. Then repeat the process for each page. Click on the first Page Line window and press the green Preview button at the top left of the screen to preview. Press the Escape button to end. You should save your progress now and on a regular basis. A quick and easy way to create your content is to prepare in PowerPoint beforehand. Save as JPEG images. and then drag and drop in the usual way. 